You might notice that I'm looking a little different. Well, I recorded an entire video and had it all set to uh, edit and everything. And when I went to edit it, it turns out that I didn't record the video. <laughs> I only recorded the audio of that video. And so that really sucks. I had a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I did a lot of stuff. Like I upgraded, I made Mage Light. It's just another glyph. I automated source gem production and just other productions of other stuff I could make. I got a Whirly Sprig, which is this heckin' dumb fairy thing that is just miserable all the time. Oh, look at that. Mood. Very unhappy. But, I mean, she works pretty good. I mean, look at this chest. Like, she's in, look, she, she multiplies my lily pads of fertility. You know how hard those things are to make? And and my shroom lights. Like, like she's working hard. And that's not it. That's not even it. Look at this. You see you see this? I built an entire tower for enchanting. And look look at this. Look how much work okay, well that's okay, we'll, we won't we won't talk about that. But look at this, like Look at all these enchantments. I explained everything. We went into apotheosis, and let me let me put something in here so you can see. Look at this. I explained all of this, and it's all gone. So yeah, that's that's very sad. Anyways, I have another plan for today. So in the last episode, we made this really cool armor, this mage armor. We were able to con to combine it with our old armor because it was mainly diamond and iron. The only thing we're missing is our netherite chest piece that we had. Um, so I had to I just make this from scratch. And I upgraded it and I used Apotheosis to like make it insanely awesome. Like look at my health bar down there. That's like 40 health. And look at my levels. I have 60 levels. But I have more plans for today. Today we are going to be upgrading my armor once again because we made some pretty cool spells. I changed my Boundless Sky spell uh, to make it actually boundless skies. Watch this. I click, look out, look at that. I am just soaring through the sky. It uses a lot of my mana though. Oh heck, I need to be careful. Hold on, I can actually launch myself towards the ground at insane speeds. I'm able to do that because of this armor that we made. It all gives me more mana and mana regen. And it is insanely awesome. Like I can't get over how cool it is. And we also made these trinkets. Look at this, an amulet of mana regen. It gives me even more mana regen. And we made these two things, two rings of greater discount. They both discount how much mana I use, which is basically like giving me more mana. So like, I am like the ultimate wizard right now. I could be so much better though. In this mod pack, you can upgrade your robes even more. And today, that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade to make these Aethermancer robes. Because if you get a full set, if you look down there in the subtext, it says, absorb some air related damage and convert into mana. Also, falling won't be a problem anymore. I've always felt a kinship to the air, especially birds. I love birds. I want to be a bird. If I could be a bird, I would be a bird. This is the closest I can get to being a bird. Flying through the sky, wearing Aethermancer robes, and I could potentially shoot lightning with them as well. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to be a lightning shooting bird. A bird that flies around and shoots lightning. <gasps> I could literally be Zapdos. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to we're going to become become a lightning shooting bird with cool armor on. And then we're going to upgrade it and make it even better. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need netherite. That's insanely hard to get in the nether. Got to walk around and find stuff. We're going to need air essence, which isn't hard to make, actually. And we're going to need this mark of mastery, which this arguably is going to be the hardest thing to get because you need all of these essences and a wilden tribute, which you get from fighting the boss of Ars Nouveau. So we've got our work cut out for us. First of all, I want to make the air essence, which we're going to need a feather, an arrow, and a bat wing. And finally, we're gonna need a lot of source gems. So let's put this stuff in here, the arrow, feather, and batwing. We're going to need eight air essence, which isn't that hard to get. So let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
source gems in here into the hopper. I set it up to automatically craft uh, stuff, which is, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Just put a hopper into it, it automatically puts it in, and they use these starbuncles. Now, they're a little tricky because you gotta, you gotta filter it for them. They, they'll take blocks, they'll take items from something, and put them into something else. They require a filter, which is just an item frame with the item that you want in the item frame, and they'll be like, oh, I need to get that. And they'll get it out of whatever that you put it in. If you don't have that, they will just constantly run back and forth, putting things in and out of places. So that's why we changed this to the air essence, so that it'll automatically, it won't see this until it becomes an air essence. See, just like that. All right, now that we've got our eight air essence, we should start working on the netherite. Now I've got this handy dandy little thing called a charm of netherite sight, which these things are super cool. I didn't know about this until I was like, I need netherite, what am I gonna do? It's so hard to find. And I looked it up and we can make potions of netherite sight, which is super easy. You just get calcinated netherite, which is netherite powder, which is netherite scrap ground up with this stuff. And you just make a potion out of it. You make, you, you just use it to make three potions and you can use those potions with some blaze powder to make a charm of netherite sight. All right, so I'm in the underground nether and I'm gonna show you what this charm does. So what it does is it gives me netherite sight, which is when I click it, activate it, it allows me to see all of the netherite in the local area, just like x-ray. The only thing though is that it uses, you see down there, it says netherite sight five minutes. It only gives me five minutes total. So anytime I use it, I can only use it up to a maximum of five minutes. But that doesn't take too long, like at all. It just takes a couple seconds per, per netherite. Look at that. And yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all this netherite and I will meet you guys back at my base. All right, so we got ourselves 33 ancient debris, which will put us at, I think, eight netherite ingots. So let's just plop, pop that in there and let that do its thing. All right, so we've got our 33 netherite scraps. Let's make some ingots. And I was right, it gave us eight. All right, so we've got the easy and the medium difficulty part out of the way. Now it's just time for the hard part, this mark of mastery, which it requires so much essence. And this, this Wilden tribute, I'm telling you, is like, it's going to be hard to do. And we need, oh, we only have to do this once. It only gives us, it gives us five marks of mastery. I didn't know that. Thankfully, we already have this stack of earth essence that I got when we were testing out this auto imbuement. So that's very nice. That's a check mark off the list. Now we just need to get the rest, which we, we have abjuration. So that's okay as well. Now we just need manipulation, water, fire, and anima, which this one is the most difficult one. Thankfully, I already have enough for this. So yeah, I'm going to collect all the materials and I will, I will be back. I told you long ago on the phone. Da, 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 da. Oh, I don't have kelp or snow. So let's go on an adventure. All right, got some kelp. I'm sure we just get enough for our future endeavors. I don't think I'm ever going to need kelp. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to find some snow for a snow block. Alright, so I'm looking at my map, and it looks like there's a little bit of snow not too far from my base, so I could probably get there pretty pretty quickly with my boundless skies. And away we go. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Man, I love this mod pack. All right, I found some snow. I've got a silk touch pickaxe, so let's just whap. That's all we. Thankfully, I have a shovel. All right, so we've got all the materials for our essence, so let's just get those craft up, crafted up, and then we can work on the Wilden Tribute. All right, so we've got all of the essences that we need. Now we just need to make that Wilden Tribute. All right, and in case I wasn't clear, um, these are the recipes as follows. So air essence is a feather, an arrow, and a bat wing. Water essence, bucket of water, snow block, kelp. Fire essence is a torch, flint, and gunpowder, flint and steel, and gunpowder. Manipulation essence is a clock, a stone button, has to be stone, and a redstone dust. Abjuration essence is 
a fermented spider eye, sugar, and a milk bucket. Has to be fermented, by the way. Can't just use a regular spider eye, has to be fermented. Anima essence is a golden apple, not enchanted, a wither skeleton skull, and bone meal. And earth essence is just an iron ingot, some kind of dirt, and some kind of seeds. All right, so now that we have all of our essences, let's check out this Wilden Tribute. In order to get a Wilden Tribute, we're going to have to make a tablet of Summon Wilden using specifically a Vexing Archwood Lock, a Block of Lapis Azuli, and a Wilden Wing, a Wilden Horn, and a Wilden Spike. All three of them into this recipe. And it'll give us a tablet of Summon Wilden. And once we use it, I think in a Ritual Bazaar, it'll summon a Wilden Chimera, which is the final boss of ours. Magica. I am so scared to fight this thing. All right, and there's the ritual brazier. Get that out. Oh, brazen. So now we need to make this tablet a summon Wilden. All right, so we got all of the stuff that we need to make the tablet. And here we go a tablet of summon Wilden consumed on use. Very nice. So summoning this beast will destroy the blocks around my base. So I want to do it far away so that it won't destroy the blocks around my base. We're back in our old base. So if you guys are wondering what happened, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I got I got onto the server after beating the Ender Dragon and looting the end, and I just came home, and I don't know what happened. I, a world glitch? The Just this part of my roof was gone, and my chests. That's all claimed, so no one could have stolen it, but it just... It just disappeared. I don't know. It was really weird. Anyways, let's try. Let's try and uh, blow this base up even more. So in order to do this, all we do is let's see. It's open to the sky. Yeah. I don't think it has to be, but I, I want it to be. So all we have to do is right click this ritual brazier with the tablet. And I was actually wrong when crafting it. Uh, I crafted it with all three of these Wilden items. But you actually, you you just toss them on here. So one, two, three. And now we activate it. And how you do that is just right click it with an empty hand. And then we fight, I guess. Run for our lives. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, this is cool. I'm scared, though. I am very scared. Whoa. Glad I didn't do this in my face. Okay, so it's gonna summon stuff. And we're just gonna. Okay, this guy isn't tough at all. Whoa, he's healing. No, don't heal. Oh, oh, heck. My house. Whoa! I'm slowed. Ow, ow. Ah, ah. Can't get me behind a wall. I don't think. Oh, I have weakness. Oh, no, dude. He's shooting spikes out. He's a chimera. Aha, what are you gonna do now? Ow. Yeah, my demons don't like it when you hit me. Oh, heck, he's about to do something else. What you gonna do, boy? What you gonna do? Oh, he's flying. He flies now? They fly now. Wait, it can fly? <laughs> Oh, oh, ow, ow. Okay, let's just run, run around. Okay, because he's shooting spikes out. We don't like that. So I was going to wait for him to stop shooting these spikes. We can still see him, thankfully. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Whoa. What is that? What's happening? We killed it. And we got it. A Wilden Tribute. All right, so we've got our essence laid out. Now we just plop this on in here. Wait a minute. No recipe found. Oh, this is at the imbuement chamber. All right, let's toss this on in. Look at that. Five marks of mastery, elemental maestro. Now that we've got these marks of mastery, let's go ahead and start crafting up this epic armor. What? Do I have to imbue it? Oh, I need the iron variant. I have all diamond. Well, except for this. I, can, I guess I can make this one. All right, let's make this real fast. And then we'll make... Oh. 
that one's cool, but the other ones aren't going to be. Now that we've got our other set of gear, lesser gear, I might add, let's start making the new set. One down, three to go. Two down. Look at that. I look sick, dude. I am the ultimate air mage. But it doesn't stop here. This isn't the only thing we can make. There's also a couple other things like this focus of air, which will enhance our air abilities, as well as this air bangle, which even further enhances our air abilities. So we're going to need ring of potential, which is very easy to make. And then we're going to need to make this enchanter's bangle, which is a source gem block, block of gold, well, two blocks of gold and an end crystal, which isn't too hard to make. So I can do that pretty easy. And then we're going to need three air essence, which I've already prepared, and a piston. And then we can make our air bangle. And then we're going to need to make this focus of air, which is not hard to make. So we can do that right now, actually. All right, so we got our lesser air focus. All right, and we just boop and boop. Whoa. You're ruining the moment. Look at that. Master of the air. I am the master. I am the master of the air. Now we just need to make this air bangle, which isn't hard to do. I just gotta go get the materials. I don't have a cast here. Target acquired. Airstrike commenced. Other target acquired. Airstrike has commenced. Yeah. More targets acquired. Why are there so many targets? Ooh, that was a loot pinata moment. Look at that. 43! This was the last fragment I needed. Ooh, Samuel Berg. I don't like it. Let's just tuck that away, never to be seen again. Alright, so we just place the blocks on here. Sorry if I get in your way, sir. Alright, now that we have that, we- oh, I forgot to make the piston. Alright, so now we've got our three air essence and our piston. Mwah. And now we have an air bangle. This is gonna go in the bangle slot. Whoa! You see that? Look at my FOV. On the edges, I guess. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. I'm fast as freak, boy. What is this thing following me? What are you? Oh, no.